Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga Moments and our Yoga for Nurses series. This is our first day, full day off. So congratulations, take a second, congratulate yourself for making it this far, for sticking with it, for feeling good, you deserve it. And then we're gonna hop on the floor. I've got just a hand towel in case we need it, just to give us a little extra length, a little extra space. Uh, we're gonna be bringing our hands behind our backs at one point. So if you need a little something, grab it. We'll set it to the side. And when you're ready, we'll meet in tabletop. So come onto your hands and knees. Find that alignment. We're going to stack our shoulders over top of our wrists. Index fingers point towards the top of our mat. Hips over top of our knees. And then we take it inside. So really finding length in our spine, reaching our crown towards the wall ahead of us, reaching our tailbone towards the wall behind us, and lifting up with our navel. So drawing in and up, really creating space, pressing in into all 10 fingers. And from here, we're gonna move with a little mindfulness. So we're gonna inhale, draw a line with our nose, look up, lower our belly, draw your shoulders away from your ears, really press into all 10 fingers here. And then on an exhale, we're gonna round through our tailbone and let that movement come up our spine. So eventually we end up in kind of like a Halloween cat. Inhale, draw a line with your nose, press up. See if you can rotate your elbows in towards the midline and then out towards the wall that we're looking at. Exhale, round through, tailbone drops towards the earth. And follow your breath here. So inhale, look forward. Warming up the spine here. Exhaling, rounding through. And when you're ready, we'll meet back in our neutral position. So gaze is down. We're gonna take our left hand, inhale, reach it out to the left side. And then we're gonna, you can come as far as is comfortable. So maybe you find a little uh, rotation to the left. And then we're gonna thread the needle, so exhale, Left hand comes through behind the right hand and we bring it down to the ground. So you can move your right hand out a little bit. And I encourage you here, deepen your breath. So again, this is one of those things we don't have to do a lot of forcing. We just have to do the breathing. If you want a little more, you can press gently into your right hand. Let's see what happens when you deepen the breath. Often, we don't need to try harder or go deeper. We just need to breathe and create a little space that way. So come back to center and we'll take it to the other side. So right hand comes all the way out as far as is comfortable for you. Try not to shift yourself out of center. So some people might be here and that's totally okay. Inhale up, exhale, we'll thread the needle to the left side. So walk your left hand out if you need. Create a little space here, tailbone lifts up. Breathing deep. On your next inhale, we'll press into the ground with our left hand. Come back to center. And we're gonna revisit that hovering cat. So you can set yourself up for success here. Press into all 10 fingers, curl your toes. And then we're gonna inhale, draw our navel up. So lifting up from that center, breathing deep here. Press into all 10 fingers. Rotate your elbows in and up. On your next exhale, we'll lower down. Come up off the wrist, so if you need a break, you know, tend to your wrist, tend to yourself. And then when you're ready, we'll come back to tabletop. Keep our toes curled and inhale, press up into down dog. So again, lifting up from those hips. We're gonna keep our knees nice and bent, pedal it out. And then really find length in that spine. So see if you can press into all 10 fingers, take the weight out of your wrists and draw your shoulders away from your ears here. Your elbows are gonna rotate in and up towards the wall in front of you, just like in tabletop. And then your hips are gonna get really high. Hug the lower ribs in. And with your thighs, turn, rotate your thighs inwards 
and towards the wall behind us. So that really gives us length to reach through our heels. One full breath here, see if you can find stillness. And then your choice. You can walk it up like we did yesterday, crisscrossing your feet. You can step it all the way up or you can jump. Come into forward fold. So find that foundation in your feet, press into all four corners, draw up from the arches. Let yourself be heavy, bring your tummy to your thighs. Maybe you walk it left to right here. So this part's really about listening to yourself. Finding what it is you need. And just finding some kindness within that. So we're gonna inhale, roll it all the way up here, press into all four corners of the feet. All right, and then we're gonna take a flow here. So bend the knees, inhale, get nice and wide, come up nice and tall, drop your shoulders away from your ears, and then exhale all the way down. So really finding that space. We're gonna plant our hands, step the right toes back, step the left toes back, come into the plank briefly. So press into all 10 fingers, reach your heels towards the back of your mat, reach your tailbone towards the back of your mat. Draw your heart up between your shoulder blades and then exhale, draw your elbows in and we'll lower all the way down. Beautiful, you guys are doing awesome. Bring your hands in underneath your shoulders, tag a little weight in your elbows, press into your pelvis, press into your toes, inhale, all the way up to baby cobra. So maybe it's not that far for you, gaze is down. Create a little length in the back of your neck, exhale, lower. Then we're gonna inhale. Press up and all the way back to down dog. So really drawing up from those hips, drawing up from your navel. You can pedal it out here. We're gonna inhale, step the right foot up and step the left foot up a little bit. So I'm gonna plant my left foot. Separate tracks here, so my right foot and my left foot are not on the same line. I'm gonna turn my left toes up towards the left corner of my mat. From here, I'm gonna bend my right knee See if I can bring it over top of my right ankle. And then I'm gonna inhale, rise up into warrior one. So part of the Virendrasana warrior group. So here, you can bring your hands to your hips if that's easier. I'm drawing my right hip crease back, pressing into all four corners of both feet and drawing up from the arch. So I'm really creating that stability here, trying to square my hips, pressing in. If you need to take a smaller step, go for it. So yoga happens on the inside. It's not about how wide your stance is. None of that matters. What matters is how it feels. So press into your right foot and your left. Draw it from the arches. See if you can wiggle your toes. From here, inhale, reach all the way up. Get nice and tall. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. And we're gonna open our arms all the way up to both sides. Come around behind us here. So, this is the part where if you need a towel, grab the towel. You can bring it behind you. And really squeeze your shoulder blades together here. So really pinching in, finding that heavy tailbone, draw up from the uh, navel. So lots of work inside here. If you don't need your towel, your hands are clasped, interlace the fingers. We're going to reach down and away, open your chest. Breathe here. And then when you're ready, on an exhale, we're going to lead with the heart, reaching it forward. So coming all the way over, reach. And maybe you bring yourself so that you're parallel with the ground. That's awesome. If you want a little more, drop your head down. Reach your hands up towards the sky. And just take a couple of big breaths here. Really open the chest. When you're ready, we're going to reach our hands up towards the sky, lift the heart up towards our shoulders, come all the way back, let the hands go, feel the blood rush all the way back. We'll plant the hands here, step the left foot back, step the right foot back. We're going to take a flow here, so you can lower all the way down to Cobra. You're familiar with that, so enjoy it. If you want another option from plank, you can lower halfway down, flip your toes, and then inhale 
open up into upward facing dog. So yogi's choice. One big breath. And then we'll meet in downward dog. So we're going to lower our knees here. Take a child's pose. It's important when you're working to take some rest, take some kindness. See if you can let your shoulders relax, round over top. And then when you're ready, we're going to bring our hands up in front of us. Come back into tabletop. And then right into down dog. So getting familiar here, finding something new maybe, or just getting really confident in our foundation skills here. We're going to take the left foot, step it up, pivot on the back foot, coming into warrior one on the other side. So turn your right toes so they're pointing towards the right front corner of your mat. Press into all four corners of both feet. So if you need to shorten your stance, go for it. If you need to adjust, no worries. We're going to inhale, press into both feet, draw up from the arches, lift up through the core. And then I'm going to, I'm going to bring my hands to my hips. Square your hips. So again, if you have to adjust your stance, go for it. Drawing the left hip crease back. So my hips are both facing square towards the wall in front of me. I'm going to inhale, reach up with both hands, open my heart up towards the sky, and then exhale, bring my hands behind me. So I'm interlacing my fingers. If you find that it's different on one side or the other, feel free to grab a towel. We're going to inhale, drop our hands away from us, pull them out, squeeze our shoulder blades. Mindful of our foundation here. See if you can lift your toes. And then on an exhale, we're going to lead with our heart all the way forward. Beautiful. You guys are doing great. Maybe you let your head hang heavy. Breathe here. So we're not here for long. One more breath. And then inhale. Reach the hands up towards the sky. Coming all the way back. Navel drawing in. Front body towards the back body. You got this. And then I'm going to reach up, feel the blood go the other way. Plant the hands, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, and then we take a flow. So your choice. You can do cobra to down dog, or you can do chaturanga to up dog, and then we'll meet in downward dog. So follow your breath. All right. So... Check in with your foundation here, pressing into all ten fingers, maybe you bend the knees, lengthen in the spine, rotate the elbows in, and then we're going to step our right foot up. So like you're sliding paint or smearing jam on the wall, I don't know why you would, but have some fun with it. We're going to inhale, exhale, draw your knee up to your nose, so really squeezing your navel up, rounding through the spine, and then we're going to step the right foot all the way up. So a little bit of core work. We're just going to integrate that a little bit throughout. So, Because you don't get a strong back without a strong core. So I'm starting to walk my right foot out towards the side here. If you prefer, you can drop your lower knee, lower your back knee. Don't drop it. Be kind. And this is a nice lizard variation here. So really stretching the backs of my hamstrings and the inside of my right quad, plus creating a nice st stretch for the hip flexors. Nice stretch across my left quad. So from here, you can always lift your back knee if you want a little more. If you are, reach that back heel towards the wall behind you. Press into all 10 fingers. And if you want a little more than that, you can lower down to your elbows. See if you can keep your right knee hugging in so you're not splaying out. Breathe here. If you're up here, no worries. Sometimes if you have a block or a book, you can use that to come down onto. But it's all about the inside. Don't worry about how far you're going. Worry about how it feels. Does it feel good? Does it feel kind? 
Do you feel like you're creating space? See if you can press into both hands evenly. And then we'll walk the right foot in, step it back, and flow here. So lower down to cobra, or inhale, chaturanga to up dog, mix and match. We'll meet in downward dog. So really have some fun with it. This is um, you getting to choose how you feel, what you'd like. From downward dog, we're going to inhale, draw a line with our left foot, toes pointing down, up as far as we can, reach the heel back. And then on an exhale, draw your knee into your nose. So nice, reach, 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 lift your heel up towards your bum. And then we'll step it up. Beautiful, we're almost there. So we're going to walk our left foot out. Again, you can lower your right knee if you need. Press into all ten fingers so that we're not collapsing into our wrist here. And then bringing your heart towards the ground. Hugging your left knee in. And if you want, you can always lower down a little bit. And if both sides don't feel the same, don't worry. That's just your body saying, hey, it's been different for a little while. One more big sweet breath here. And we'll plant the hands if they're not already. Come all the way up. Step the left foot back. We're gonna lower right down. Take a child's pose. You guys are doing awesome. We're almost there. Breathe into your lower back. Soften your jaw. You might roll your forehead out here, a little massage on the brow bone. So from here, I'm going to slide my hands up in front of me. I'm going to come up, walking the hands up, finding kindness, finding some mindfulness in how we're moving. I'm going to come into a seated posture. And I'm going to bring my feet together. So coming into Baddha Konasana. And everyone has an inclination to like, I want to get my knees towards the earth. We'll get to that. Just be patient. Hold on. First, we're going to tend to our feet because we spend a lot of time on our feet. So a little massaging here. Maybe you massage the toes, the arches. Should feel really good. Oh yeah. All right. So we're gonna bring our feet together. And if they're out here, no worries. If you feel a pinching in your hips, give yourself a little more space. Bring your feet out a little bit. So wherever is comfortable for you, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Hands can come to the shins or to the toes, whatever's comfortable. We're gonna find that alignment within. So pelvic floor lifts up, navel draws in and up. I'm going to squeeze my sit bones together. So that's a little weird, but there's nothing you'll notice drawing my knee down. It's all connected to my hips. So when I squeeze my sit bones together, then my knees lower down. Safely, kindly. All right, finding that length and leading with our heart. So just like we did in Humble Warrior, we're gonna reach forward. And again, it doesn't matter how far we come. It doesn't matter if you can get your head to your feet. We're just going to go for that nice opening stretch on the insides of our hips. Finding this nice long spine. Maybe you tuck your chin. Find a little length in the back of the neck. And again, deepen your breath. So see if you can deepen your breath all the way to your hips. Play with that. Have a little fun. And if you're like, Janice, the air goes in your lungs. I know. Of course, I know I'm an RT, but see if you can breathe so deeply that when you inhale, that increased pressure, you can feel all the way into your hips. When you're ready, we'll release, come all the way up. And for this one, we're going to go a little off the mat, or we can move our mat. Find a wall space. So I'll give you a, a few seconds here. Find somewhere on the wall. 
I am probably going to move my mat here. So bring your mat over to the wall. This is going to help so much with varicose veins. So if you wear compression stockings. Okay, so when you've gotten to a wall, we are going to turn around. We are going to scooch ourselves as close to the wall as we can. I normally turn a bit to the side. And then I'm going to come onto my back or onto my elbows at the very least and swing my legs up the wall. So super technical yoga pose here. Adjust your ponytail if you need to. And if you want, you can bring your bum all the way to the wall. If your hips are like, that's just not going to work for us. You can come out away from the wall or you can stack some pillows or use a chair to put your feet up on. The idea is we're just helping the blood return back to our torso. So find what's comfortable for you. And close your eyes here. You can bring your hands to your belly or maybe you take a ballerina pose or you just open your arms, spread your wings however is comfortable for you. We're going to just let the blood flow backwards so there's nothing to do here. If your thoughts start to wander, bring them back to your breathing. So a little restorative pose here. I promise you I will mind the time. We're only here for a couple minutes. But see if you can find places to soften. So if you're holding tension anywhere. Or just notice the sensation because your legs will slowly start to feel different. Maybe flex the toes. Just seeing if you can spread that awareness throughout. Bring your attention back to your breathing. Maybe you deepen your breath. If it helps, you can bring your hands to your belly. That's often a technique we use for people who are short of breath and breathing very shallowly or having pneumonias. Trying to encourage them to breathe deeper. So relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, relax your eyes. So absolutely a little unconventional in terms of maybe traditional yoga but it's tending to ourselves and tending to what we need so take one more sweet breath here maybe you look up towards the ceiling if you want to stay here longer I encourage you to do so for those of you who are ready for a little switch uh, find a little fun for you so maybe you drop your knees to your chest and roll it to the side. Maybe you, you know, tick tock like a clock all the way over and just come in to your side for a minute. So giving our body time to adjust and catch up to the change. Maybe you feel that in your feet or in your calves. And then I'm going to come onto my mat. This is so not a traditional yoga video. I love it. And we're going to come into Shavasana. So open your palms, snuggle your shoulder blades in and under your back. And again, just find a few places to soften. Maybe you take those three deep breaths here for you, make them count. And as always, I say thank you for everything you guys do. 
I hope you enjoyed today. We're going to do a little more work over the next couple of days, get nice and strong, and feel really good about ourselves. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you.